Chris Hamrick in the ring making his MCW debut against Dr. Feelgood. Chris Hamrick comes to MCW highly regarded, has wrestled for the World Wrestling Federation, also wrestled throughout the Mid-Atlantic region, and it's great to have him here in MCW, Michael. Well, the gauntlet has been thrown down. Yes, it's great to see new athletes come into MCW, but boy, do we have a fight on our hands. Come tonight at the Fairgrounds Arena in Nashville, Tennessee. Six-man tag action, the Vols and Brickhouse Brown, the Unholy Alliance. Oh, wow, look at Hambrick off the top rope. And Dr. Feelgood sprawled on the floor. And Hambrick back into the ring. Tonight at the Fairgrounds, though, the Unholy Alliance of the Vols and Brickhouse Brown against the Black Sheep and perhaps the most black sheep of them all, Recon, on the other side of the ring. During the last match, I, I said aloud, how could they top what happened last week at the fairgrounds? I think we have our answer, a big six-man war. Stephen Dunn just said he has some personal issues from the past with Recon that he's going to get settled at the fairgrounds tonight. Look at that move by Hamrick. He hung up Dr. Feelgood. He hung him out to dry and then put a boot across his head and brought him back into the ring. Well, when you see MCW Wrestling Action come to your area, whether it be Louisville, Kentucky, the Mix Factory in Nashville, Tennessee on Monday nights, or the Big Raw's War Party, which is just growing bigger and bigger every week, no matter where you see it, Southern Tennessee, Northern Alabama, oh! Hamrick down to the floor as Dr. Feelgood moved out of the way, and Hamrick flush on his back on the hard concrete floor at the Expo Center, and this young man is hurt. Incredible, uh, the style today, high-risk maneuvers. Chris Hamrick just went for Dr. Feelgood. Feelgood moved out of the way, and Hamrick just, oh! Landed on the floor again. That's flesh and bone against a solid concrete. This Dr. Feelgood, a native of Beverly Hills, California, been wrestling for three years, trained in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is one of the wrestling capitals of the United States, along with, of course, Nashville, Tennessee. And, of course, North Carolina at one time, uh, uh, probably the epitome of professional wrestling centered the whole wrestling world at one time, probably centered out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I was just looking at Hambrick's back. I mean, he hit that concrete twice, and now Dr. Feelgood with a backbreaker right across the spine. This man is black and blue, and every time he hit the concrete, my bones jarred, and I'm just watching the action. It's incredible, uh, the intestinal fortitude of Chris Hamrick, just the fact that he's still in the ring, that he didn't just give up, call for the stretcher to take him to the hospital, it shows that this guy's something. He's held numerous titles throughout the Mid-Atlantic region, both in the heavyweight and light heavyweight division. Great maneuver doesn't get the pin. Springboard off the second rope. We want to say hello to our fans in and around Victorville, California, in the high desert outside of Los Angeles, who watch MCW Wrestling each and every week on Channel 64 on Saturday and Sunday morning. Dr. Feelgood makes the move and clotheslines his man down. Also, we want to say hello to our fans in Dayton, Ohio, Channel 51 in Dayton, WUCT Television. Every Saturday night, they get MCW Wrestling action. Of course, my father from Dayton, Ohio, one of the fine Midwestern cities, a wonderful place to visit, and a great wrestling city, I might add. Dr. Feelgood looks to be on top in this match. Speaking of great wrestling, that's the DOA. That's his finishing move, the DOA, a gut wrench into a power bomb. But he's not he's wasting too much time. He should go for the pin. Cover him. Boy, I see that so many times with these young wrestlers where they just don't finish off the job. They gotta get the job done. Too much showboat, and you gotta finish your man when you got him down. Here's Dr. Feelgood climbing the ropes. He's got Hambrick set up. Now Hambrick attempting to climb up there with him. He's trying to make a move. Hambrick there to the very top. Looks like Feelgood's gonna power bomb him off the top. And that's exactly what happened. Holy Toledo. Cover him. This ring has taken a beating. Chris Hambrick's back has taken a beating. One, two, and a count of two was all he got in Hambrick. Where did he get the opportunity or the power to bring that shoulder up? And he brought it up again. Incredible. These two men have battled it all out. This is both men's first appearance here on MCW, and the winner is obviously going to be looked at for future opportunities, and the loser may not. So, Dr. Feelgood, when you've got your man beat, you've got to take advantage of that. Whoa! Well, Dr. Feelgood taking a little bit too much time in the operating room. And I don't think he's feeling so good right now, Michael. And right now, Chris Hambrick trying to take over. Feelgood trying to get his balance. Both men on the top from way off the top rope. A front head scissors from three floors upstairs. 
down goes Feel Good, and Hambrick gets his hand raised, but I think that move may have taken as much off of Chris Hambrick as it did off Feel Good. What a show of aerial wrestling on MCW today. A standing top rope Frankensteiner by Chris Hambrick. After all the punishment he took, he was able to hit that maneuver, and that's held the difference. Chris Hambrick, victorious. Let's get the whole Nashville card right now. Well, what a big action tonight.